Yeah, hey, welcome back. So we started off the day with a lot of sunshine out there, but temperature is really cold for this time of year. High temperatures only around 10 degrees. Then we did cloud up as we made our way into the evening and now some snow showers around. They are pretty light, but it doesn't take much with temperatures this cold to give us some really fluffy snow and it definitely is not going to be melting when it hits the ground. Uh, so uh, here's a look at the high temperatures today near 10 degrees also at Ogallala 13 at Imperial but highs only between 2 and 5 as you make your way out toward Valentine, Thedford, Broken Bow and a 7 at Lexington. There's your current temperature. So we did hit a low of 5 below 0 in the past couple of hours. Now we're up to 3 below in North Platte. Uh, 1 below 0 at Ogallala and Imperial and between 5 and 7 below, Broken Bow, Lexington, and Valentine. But combine that with that wind from a northerly direction, wind speeds right now 10 to 25 miles per hour. Uh, we do have extremely frigid wind chills out there. Wind chill values now between 20 and 30 below zero, so prepare for that if you're spending any time outside. Let's take a look at the weather alerts first for the snow that is falling right now and the snow that could be blowing around tonight with the gusty winds. Winter weather advisory is in effect uh, as you make your way from Lincoln County and points off to the north and off to the northwest and that does extend uh, just a little off to the south including uh, Hayes and uh, Frontier County. Now blizzard warning in effect as you make your way from Custer County and points off to the north and east. These are until 6 p.m. Central Time uh, as as we go through the overnight and into the afternoon tomorrow and combine that with a wind chill warning this is for the frigid air now the wind chill warning will go all the way until thursday at noon so that's how long we think it's going to be dangerous to spend any time outside so Clear skies into our eastern counties, that's not going to last very long. We do have clouds making their way through. And here's a look at the light snow showers from Valentine to Mullen, North Platte, down toward the, uh, just off to the east of the Curtis area. And another band here, say from Ogallala down toward Imperial. So this is moving pretty quickly off to the east. Shouldn't be around much longer, but uh, it will definitely coat the roads once again with some uh, fluffy snow showers. Now, this is a little bit of a warm front, but unfortunately we're not going to get into this warm sector because this low moves off to our south and east we're going to get more of this arctic air as we make our way through the weekend and a couple more chances of some snow showers so as we make our way through the next few hours snow showers move off to the south uh temperatures falling back to between maybe 10 and 15 below zero for overnight lows and then as we go through the day tomorrow we think north flat actually might make it above zero but Everybody else, uh, it looks like a sub-zero high temperature day. A few peaks of sunshine as we make our way through your Saturday afternoon. And then clear skies will make it even colder as we go into your Sunday morning. So lows between, uh, say, 10 and 20 below zero. And that's an air temperature. The wind chills will be much worse. Another disturbance does set up over our southern and western counties. So expect some more snow showers possible as we go Sunday night into Monday. Sunday, staying into the single digits for highs. So there's that low moving off to the south, allowing more very cold air to filter in. These uh, Arctic high pressure systems are basically just going to spin around. There's that uh, disturbance that could give us some more snow showers we, as we approach the Monday holiday. And then high pressure is going to work its way back in, still giving us that very strong flow from the north. But as that high works off to the east, we'll get more of a southerly wind. This is the snowfall potential all the way through late Monday. And it looks like uh, we could pick up another uh, one to three inches of snow over the next few days across most of the viewing area. More as you make your way into the panhandle and into southeastern Wyoming. So here's another look at that jet stream, that frigid air. This air should be over the North Pole. It's going to move into portions of eastern Canada, so that's why it is so frigid, the cool air across most of the country. So a high of 1 tomorrow, 4 on Sunday. Snow showers possible Sunday night into Monday, high of 7. And then Tuesday up to 20 with more sunshine, near 40 for Wednesday. We rebound nicely, partly cloudy, another dry weather pattern uh, Thursday and Friday. Temperatures staying into the mid to upper 20s across the region. Kent? Also a good weekend to stay inside with a movie, a book, or some football. Yeah, it's going to be hard to even go outside as we go through the weekend with this cold. All right, thanks, Justin. And high inflation really opened a